One of the most difficult and stressful things as a business owner is getting clients through the door. Yeah, you may be an amazing designer, a great copywriter, or a top video editor, but if you fail to market yourself correctly, you're always gonna struggle to get clients. The scary thing is, a business without clients is a business that won't last long. I've seen far too many talented creatives give up on their business dreams because they couldn't get clients. But in this video, I aim to stop that. Why? Because I know just how liberating and fun building and starting a business can be. The crucial first step we must take in order to attract more clients online is a psychological one that requires a mindset shift. See, in order to attract clients, you have to put yourself in their shoes and think how they think. Let's create a scenario to illustrate this. You've got a big night out coming up for your best friend's birthday. You want to look and feel good on the night, so in the days leading up to it, you start planning what you're gonna wear. You try on what feels like every combination of clothes available in your wardrobe, but nothing seems to look good. In a surge of panic, you whip out the laptop and go online shopping in the search for an outfit that will be here in time for Saturday. Now ask yourself this, where's the first place you go? Everybody's answers will be different, but one thing that we all have in common is that we'll go to a website that we know, like, and trust. This is a concept used within the marketing industry with the thought process being that people will not buy from you or your business until they know, like, and trust you. So when a business is looking for someone to build their new website or design their branding, they are looking for people that you guessed it, they know, like, and trust. Now we've identified what it is we need to do to get more clients online, it's time to go over how to actually do it. Now if the tinless winner can gain people's trust online, then we can too. So I've split this up into three steps and I will go over each one and give you action points that you can take. First, get attention. This is so people know who you are and what it is you offer. The best place to get your name out there is on social media. I'm talking Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, etc. Second, become likable. Either you or your work, ideally both. For this, it's more about the strategies you use on these platforms to market yourself and your services. And last but most important, build trust. So they will happily pay you for your services. This is all about building online social proof. And one of the best ways you can do this is by having your own website, where you can showcase your portfolio, explain the services you offer, and display client testimonials, which will certainly help build trust. And that's where today's comes in super useful. Hostinger provides premium hosting for your website. They have extremely fast servers, meaning a fast loading website, which is really important when a potential customer is making a purchasing decision. Not to mention you get a free domain with the majority of the hosting packages. But if you're not ready for your own website or you already have one, that's fine. But one thing I do recommend doing is buying potential domain names for the future. In a previous video I mentioned I will be releasing a course this year and one of the first things I did when deciding this was registering a domain for the course to ensure that no one takes it. For you it could even be just your name with different variations e.g. .com or .online just to ensure that no one else gets them. If you are interested be sure to click the first link in my description and use the code Abby at checkout to save even more money on yearly plans. This not only helps you take those first steps to building your online presence and getting clients online, but it also helps support this channel too. So thank you. So how can we get the attention of our potential customers on social media? Well, we put out informational, entertaining, and valuable content. If you're new to the scene and don't have any of your own work to show, then do passion projects. This will help you build up your portfolio, create content for social media, and work on your design skills all at the same time. But also don't fall into the trap of just putting out work. You can try informative posts, you can try and get personal and so much more. If you're unsure of what content to post, go and download my freebie from my website, which gives you 30 content ideas. I will link it in the description. Okay, so let's take myself 
as an example. Here's what my social media posts used to look like two years ago. They didn't provide value and they failed to show my work in the best possible way. Now fast forward to today, my feed is jam packed with useful information, high quality brand presentations and engaging reels. So how can you make the same change that I did? Well, I'm gonna give you some action points that you can take today to start gaining attention. One, record a TikTok or reel showcasing a project. Instagram reels and TikToks have great reach, meaning your work will be exposed to a wider audience. This is a fun and engaging way to show your work instead of just a single post. Two, identify a pain point that your potential clients have within their business and create an informative post giving them solutions to that problem. For example, if you're a brand designer, you could put out a post about how having a set of distinct brand colors can lead to greater brand awareness and recognition. This would be useful to business owners and applicable to your own services. Three, do an online audit. Be proactive and identify businesses that are in need of your services and audit them. This can be via email, TikTok, or even a YouTube video. An example of this would be rewriting an ad copy if you're a copywriter, or redesigning a social media post if you're a graphic designer. When doing this, be sure to explain your thought process and decisions. This shows off your expertise, plus it makes it personal to the business, meaning they are more likely to reach out. Take Grace Wells as a good example. She started posting TikToks of her creating commercials for random objects. By doing this, she grew a huge audience with her videography skills being front and center. Big brands started to reach out to work with her and now I believe she works for a content agency in LA. Grace nailed the art of grabbing attention and showed just how powerful it can be. Now that we know how to grab attention, we need to transform that into to being liked because attention only lasts if you're likable. Making yourself and your work something that people gravitate to is all about the strategy behind the content that you put out. For example, if in every social post you're trying to sell your services, people are gonna be turned off by this and see you as desperate. A real life example of this would be going in for a kiss on the first date. If you haven't taken the time to get to know the person, you risk going in for a kiss and it could end up looking something like this. Linking back to grabbing attention, focus on putting content out that is useful and doesn't just try to sell your services or products. This is how you build relationships online, put out so much useful content that you become an industry expert and you'll become the go-to for people looking for answers related to your industry. Another thing that helps build connections is personality. Don't make the mistake of only posting pictures of previous work. It's boring and makes it harder for you to build relationships with your audience. One really important thing to remember is that people buy from people. So the takeaways for this are, don't go for the sale too early, put out useful and informative content and be personal. And the action points I want you to take are to start speaking daily on your Instagram stories. Now, if you don't have a clue what to talk about, then go and download the Find Your Voice Challenge freebie from my website that gives you 21 speaking prompts for 21 days. I'll link it in my description. Next, create a rule and stick to it. For every three informative posts that you put out, one can focus on promoting your services. This is a great ratio that makes you not come across as too salesy. If you want to dive deeper into this subject, then I really recommend reading the book Jab, 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 Right Hook by Gary Vee. It's been out for a few years now, but the information and strategies still stand true to this day. So we now have an audience that likes us, Next, we need to gain their trust. In all honesty, a large part of this does just come over time. But if you continually do everything I mentioned throughout this video, your audience will start to trust you. There are a few things that can build even greater trust with the audience, like having your own website, which basically gives you a place on the internet to showcase your business, show your work, share testimonials, and explain the services you offer. I wanna add just one quick bonus point that has helped me gain clients online, which is in fact 
this YouTube channel. I would encourage every business owner and freelancer to start putting content out on YouTube. Long form video is one of the best ways to not only showcase your skills, but also build relationships because the audience gets to know you. For me, it's had the single biggest impact on my design business and I'm at a point where I can pick and choose who I work with. I know you currently might be thinking, but it's easy for you to say, but I was rubbish at the start. I didn't know anything about cameras, how to script or edit but over the years I was consistent and look what it has transformed into. If there's one thing you take away from this video, let it be this. It's the most powerful marketing tool imaginable. Just start and worry about improving along the way. If this video has made you want to grow your online presence and take the first step to getting more clients, then the next logical thing to do is to watch this video right here, all about how to design your social media content for more engagement. I'll see you at the next video.